Hey everybody, welcome back to Women Carry Knives. Down here on the table in front of me, we have a beautiful Jack Skellington, Hank, and what we will be reviewing, which is the Zero Tolerance, or ZT0450. Um, really quick, I'd like to say that this Hank was courtesy of Shadowborn Hanks. Um, go ahead and give them a check. Check them out. They have, he's, he's a new and upcoming Hank maker, and um, I've been looking for a, just a Jack face Hank for a while. Now, I do have two Jack and Sally Skellington Hanks that I received from the Sharp Spot. Absolutely love those, because, you know, again, I love Jack and Sally, but I did not see one with just Jack. So as soon as I saw this picture on somebody else's IG, I had to get a hold of him and say, I need a Jack Hank, and this is what he came with. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Um, it's really thick. It's good quality. Um, thank you so much to Shadowborn Hanks. And again, um, I will put a link to their Instagram on my description. So without further ado, we will move this over here so it can still be seen. Let's do it that way. Awesome. Okay, so we're talking about the Zero Tolerance 0450. Now, the original Zero Tolerance was a 0454, um, which it, in the same was a collaboration between ZT and Dmitry Sinkovich. Um, unfortunately, it was a very limited edition that they had done. So what happened is they wanted to make things right, so they created the 0450. So it's pretty much the same thing. Um, it's a little more compact than the original, but just, in my opinion, just as good. So let's talk a little bit about it. Um, it is a S35VN steel blade. It is, and I don't know if you can see that, but it is stonewashed and satin finished. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful knife. It is titanium stonewashed titanium handle, which I absolutely love. I think it looks gorgeous. However, it may be turned purple. I may see if I can uh, anodize this a purple color because that is my favorite color. Um, your blade length on this is three and a quarter inches. I mean, that's, you know, that's a really good size blade. I love this size. The handle itself is for a little over four inches. You can see here just over four inches, not very much. And the total length on this is, doo -doo 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 -doo, your total overall length is just about, I mean, I'm just gonna call it seven, seven and a half inches, but it's just a hair under seven and a half inches. Um, it is a frame lock, very stiff frame lock. Um, flipper, obviously, if I didn't say that. Absolutely gorgeous. I do love also, on this one that it has the riddle the riddle the little red spacer bars in there that's really cool um, the uh, clip the pocket clip bear with me here guys the pocket clip is actually it's an ambidextrous knife um, the pocket clip is not a super deep carry so when you are carrying it you're gonna have probably about at least a half an inch sticking out of your pocket, which isn't bad. I wouldn't, you know, I don't complain about that. I do have deep carry knives. Um, if I do have a knife that does have a shorter pocket clip than I, uh, or a, sorry, a longer, not deep carry, then I do prefer not to have it too long. So in my opinion, this one is perfect. Um, you have to be careful if you have a short clip on this. Some people have changed it out. If you do have a short clip, because when you are flipping it, you are going to get stuck on your frame lock and it will make it a little more difficult to open or close. Now, this has the jimping up here so you can really get in there and hopefully, there we go, has the jimping on the top of the blade here, which is, I mean, this thing for having such a narrow handle, it really does feel good. And if you look at it here, you know, you're talking, let's turn it this way. So you're talking actual width um, right here, about a little over a half an inch. But you know, it really doesn't, the, the way that the handle is shaped, it's just such a really good 
fit. It fits in your hand. It's, you know, like I said, it's ambidextrous, so it can be light, right or left because you can change it. Oh, and I did forget that there is a lanyard hole in here, so you can add a lanyard if you so wish. Um, this is a great blade. It is closed. I mean, come on now. It's an inch at the most, barely even an inch. It just feels, it's not, it's not a small knife. It's not a large knife. But it feels so good in hand. And like I said, you know, I actually prefer the jimping because sometimes I feel like if I don't have that, then my finger is, my thumb is going to slip and I'm going to do something stupid. And we don't want to do that. But um, knife feels so good. Again, I really feel like, you know, if you're going to be doing something, if you're going to be, you know, maybe I like to play with wood. So I like to whittle, you know, pieces of wood. And if I'm going to be doing that, it's nice to be able to get my finger in there or maybe cutting certain things. Um you know, like you said, your your pull cuts, you actually have the jimping right there. So if you're going to be doing that, in which, you know, the way I cut would be like that. Um, this knife is just, in my opinion, I'm, I'm really glad that the 0454 was so popular because if it wasn't, they would not have bought this one out. So thank you so much to ZT for actually recognizing the popularity of that one and for bringing it out, and Sinkovich for doing such a great design on this. I mean, I really do. You can't go wrong with this. It's just beautiful. Like I said, it really does feel good in your hand, closed, um, feels great uh, in your pocket. It's, you know, it does stick up a little bit, but again, it's not enough to me to really be too bothersome, and I really do love the clip because it is strong. It comes in and out of the pocket super easy. And I love that fact, too. Um, if you have not checked one of these out, I highly recommend you do. ZT, make, uh, ZT makes some fabulous knives. And um, I know my husband has, well, I think seven or eight of them. And I have carried a few of those. And we'll be doing a few reviews on those of what I think. You know, some of them are a little bit larger than what I would normally carry. But again, um, some of them, even though they are a little bit large... I really like them, so I would not hesitate to carry them. Uh, if you have anything that you, you know, want to check out on this, see if you can get one in hand somewhere. It really does. I mean, it's very, just that snap on it, man. These, these bearings are just awesome. I really do love it. Uh, yeah, it feels really good. Like I said, the... Even though it is smooth, it's not, I don't know why, but it just does not feel slippery to me. It really doesn't. It, I just, I feel like my hand is really going to stick to it. Sometimes on some of the knives you get, maybe because it's stonewashed, I'm not really sure. If you know the answer to that, let me know. But it, it just, you know, some of the titanium knives that are very smooth, they're not stonewashed you really do feel like you're going to slip. And again, I just, I really, really don't on this. I really love this knife. I love the feel of it. I love the look of it. It is just a gorgeous, well-made piece of machinery. And that's what I'm calling it. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please, please leave them down in the comment section. I love talking to you guys, having answering any of your questions or, you know, anything you have to say. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please like and subscribe. I'd love to have you. If you already are, thank you so much for being here. I look forward to talking to you guys again, and have a great one. Until next time.